A competent and skilled field epidemiology workforce is the foundation to prevent, detect and respond to health challenges affecting humans, animals and the environment. These include zoonotic diseases, from West Nile virus to Ebola, that can spread between animals and humans. Natural disasters and conflicts can lead to health problems for both humans and animals and result in environmental damage. And to make matters worse, climate and land use changes are affecting the way humans and animals interact with the environment. As our world becomes increasingly interlinked, disease outbreaks are more complex and can have far-reaching consequences on society, infrastructure and economies. Field epidemiologists working in public health, animal health and environmental health sectors play a pivotal role in preventing, detecting and responding to cross-sectoral health threats. And while current capacity building programmes provide huge benefits, they are still mostly limited to training the workforce within specific health sectors. We need communication, collaboration and resource sharing across sectors to adapt and prepare for any eventuality at the global, country and community levels. To support this, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, World Health Organization and World Organization for Animal Health have brought together experts to define and develop competencies for field epidemiology using a One Health approach. The Competencies for One Health Field Epidemiology Framework supports the development of competent field epidemiologists at frontline, intermediate and advanced levels of expertise. FAO, WHO and WOA have also developed supplemental guidance for curriculum development, mentorship, evaluation and certification and continuing education. Using this guidance, countries will be better able to build more collaborative training programs and better protect the health of humans, animals and the environment. By working collaboratively across disciplines, field epidemiologists can better support our planet, no matter where they are. Learn more by visiting our resources 